Let's do following test. Let's change 4.17.1, that is actually current last version in my case. Let's change it to 4.17.0. In your case, if you see more recent version here, you could also reset patch version to 0 like that. Now let's save changes in the package.json file and open up package.log.json file and search here for express, like that. Now I see that version that is installed is 4.17.1. Now let's do following. Let's delete package.log.json file and let's also delete node modules folder, like that. So now there is only package.json file and index.js file of course, and here I indicated version 4.17.0, but in front of it there is power sign. And now let's do npm install. npm install. By the way, you could simply use shortcut npm i, like that. Installing packages. Let's now open up package.log.json file that was created again. And now here let's search for same package express. Like that. And again I see that version that was actually installed is 4.17.1. Because this version satisfies this rule. With such a rule here in place, we basically say to npm that we are happy with any more recent minor or patch update. And that's why when it found out that there is such version available, it installed it. This is the latest version available. Now let's do following. Let's try to modify 4.17.0 to 3.0.0, like that. And let's repeat process. Let's remove package.log.json file and let's delete node modules folder. And let's reinstall all dependencies. npm i installing. Packages were installed. Let's now open up package.log.json file again and search for express. And now I see that such version was installed. Version 3.21.2. Not fourth version, because this particular version is the last version that satisfies such rule. We are happy with any minor update or patch update, but not major update. That's why even though fourth version is available, we know that for sure it was not installed because of such rule. We are not happy with any major updates. And that's actually fully correct when you create project and when you install some dependencies into it. You should not automatically install any major updates. Because usually those major version changes bring breaking changes and they may simply break your application and it might stop working. That's why I don't recommend to you automatically update major software releases and npm actually stops you from doing that by default. But if you want to install any latest version available at npm, you could risk and instead of writing here such version for example, write latest like that. Let's now save this file and let's remove as usually package.log.json and remove node modules folder and let's reinstall dependencies, npm install and let's see which version will be installed now. Let's open a package-log.json file, search for express here and now I see that version that was just installed is 4.17.1, this latest version available. Alright, now you know what is semantic versioning, what is major version, what is minor version and what is patch version. Also you know that with this tilde sign you could indicate that any patch updates are acceptable. With power sign you could indicate that uh, any minor or patch updates are acceptable. That's it for this particular project and now let's quickly create one more project and it will be react project. You could very quickly bootstrap new react project using create react app utility. And you could run it using npx command. Let's go back to the terminal here, let's clear it, go out from the tmp folder and here please enter following command. npx create react app, please ensure that you type this name same as I do. And next let's give name to our application my react 
up like that. Let's press enter and see some magic that will happen now. Creating new React app on the desktop in the folder My React App. Let's wait a bit until this process will be finished. Ok, React application was created and uh, now let's cd to My React App folder, because such folder was automatically created by Create React App Utility. And if I list files and folders here, you'll see already familiar to you files like package.json, package-log.json and node modules folder. Let's now open up this project in the VS Code and have a look at it more deeply. So code and dot. 